Messenger of Allah, he mentioned two types of people that will not be present in his time. The Messenger of Allah, he said, there are two types of people who will be punished in Jahannam and whom I have not seen. And then he says, men having whips like the tails of cows, and they will be beating people with them. And he said, then the other type and women, to so the first was men, the other one was women, he says, will be dressed but appear to be undressed or naked, inviting to evil, and they themselves will be inclined to it. Their heads will appear like the humps of the bacterian camels, inclined to one side. Then he said, they will not enter Jannah, and they will not smell the fragrance of Jannah, which is perceptible from such and such a distance, like you can smell it from far away. Rasulullah has given us one of those prophecies about the future. He's warning us, don't be like these people. Men, they will be holding in their hands whips like the tails of cows, riot uh, police for example. They're holding with their sticks in their hands, whips in their hands. Some of them actually electrocuted as well too. And he says, they beat the people with that stuff. Now when the ulama, they said, these people, uh, they're doing it unjustly. They're just being supportive of tyranny. Imam al Nawi, who lived 900 years ago, he said that these are those who work for the police. And he's basically speaking about a specific category of people that are unfortunately known to be more of a militia. They're not necessarily part of the force itself, but they're always used against the people to instigate. Because these are ruthless people, have no rahmah, no order, no system, just throw them in the streets and do whatever you want to do. In the past few years, we've seen a lot of that stuff in the Muslim world, unfortunately. So the Prophet is saying that these are the people who are condemned to Jahannam because supportive of tyranny and supportive of injustice. And then he says, and women, they're dressed, but they don't appear to be well-dressed. Now, I don't know what time in the history of mankind that this particular description can be so evident than our time. It's across the globe at almost every level, amplified by the use of social media, obviously. People copy each other. They call them trends these days. And unfortunately, because now there's a hot competition that involves even money and popularity and fame and name and so on, everybody's willing to put anything in order for them to get that money and that attention. So therefore, they know that sex sells. And unfortunately, they're using that kind of style just to put it online. And nowadays, you could read even on some people's profiles, they put themselves as content creator basically kind of producing videos and they keep posting stuff and so on. They're wearing clothes, but when you look at it, it's nothing. Some it's because it was very transparent and some because it's not really much that covers the body, unfortunately. They themselves inclined to these kind of shahawat, desires and lust and so on, causing others also, of course, you know, to be inspired or at least they incite others to do so, which what we call today again trend. A lot of now our young girls, they see these things and they follow these examples. Even to the extent these days when you go to the kids section sometimes, it's horrible. The kind of clothes that be produced for these children, the kind of toys and dolls that are produced for these children, everything is just really kind of promoting this kind of culture, this kind of attitude for the younger ones and for the children as well. One particular description about the hairstyle. Maybe it doesn't exist today anymore, but there was a time, I think it was maybe sometime in the 1960s or probably even 70s, when the hairstyle was that women put their hair all the way up and it becomes a competition who has it actually even higher. And that's what the Prophet was describing in this hadith. He says, they just appear like the hums of the bacterian camels. They exist in Asia. And those are the camels that actually have two hums usually. And as they move, they're going to sway right and left. And that's the description that the Prophet gave to their hairs and their heads. Even the hijab these days, unfortunately, I, I've seen something where the ladies, they put their hair up and they put some sort of like a, a plastic cup or whatever that is to even push the hijab higher over their heads. That falls in the same category. They are not going to be able to intervene. Like deliberately doing that to cause this fitna for themselves and other people, they would not enter Jannah. Another hadith of Prophet ﷺ says, you can smell Jannah from the distance of 500 years. But these people, unfortunately, they will not be able to have that pressure of having the sinful Jannah. Imam al nawawi rahimahullah ta'ala, 900 years ago, he said, we have seen them in our time. 900 years ago. Whatever he saw back then, it's not even a fraction of what we see today, unfortunately. It's horrible. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and protect our families from this Ya Rabbil Alameen.